In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use camera feature in RAP Animator. So right off the bat, when we open a new project, we get to set a camera size and the size of our margins. And the program calculates this canvas size depending on those numbers. The canvas size is the only size we won't be able to change unless we start a new project. So let me start off by drawing some background for this animation. I'm going to do this for this tutorial. Uh, notice how I'm ignoring the grayed out area because I'm planning to have my camera move around the whole canvas and the whole, the whole picture that I'm drawing. After I'm done with the background, I'm going to draw a little red car and I'm going to have it move across the picture using cycles. If you're not familiar with cycles in this program, I have a separate video where I explain how to use them. When we're done placing our little car on the final frame of our cycle and the application is done calculating the rest of the frames of this cycle, let's get to the camera tool by pressing the top right button. As you can see, the tool options area here on the left side now have different entries, just like when you switch between tools like brush, eraser, lasso. Right now I'm using the movement options to set the camera to my first position. And essentially I want it to move from left to right following our car. The movement options like X and Y translate, rotate and scale are pretty self-explanatory. Plus, if you don't really need to be precise, you can just move the camera itself by grabbing it instead. Scale it by grabbing its corners and rotate it, grabbing just outside of the corners. So let's move on to those four buttons on the top of this tool option area, the key management. You can see you can add a key, delete a key, copy and paste it. Now I'm going to add a key here, making the application understand that I want the camera to start here. So now whenever I put the next key after that one, it's going to calculate the path it has to take to get the camera from the first key to the next one. If you remember in the beginning, I've put margin size 200, which means if I want to get from one side of my canvas to the other one, I should move my cam from my minus 200 to 200. And here you can see how the program actually calculated the camera path by itself. All you just had to do is put point A and point B. And here's our finished little animation with camera following our car. Here's some more footage of me experimenting with keys. You can move the keys on the timeline after holding on them for a little bit. Obviously you can add as many keys as you want. And if the keys are on the two frames that are next to each other, the camera is going to snap from point A to point B with no motion. But it's useful in some cases, like whenever you want to reset the camera after you're done with the first sequence, for example. Another way of using the camera feature in Wrap Animator is whenever you want to bring something into the frame from the outside of it. I'm going to show you guys how you can use that extra space on your canvas that is not visible for the camera. So you see how I moved the camera all the way to the left to free up some space on the right for the arm that I'm going to draw right now. And all I'm doing is drawing that arm with a fist outside of the camera. And actually let me move it to another layer so that the sport guy doesn't move with the arm as one hole.
All right, let me finish up with this cycle and we're done. Okay, well, I hope this tutorial was clear enough for you to make sense of this new camera feature in this application and have fun trying it out by yourself and using it in your animation process.